All right, it's the Smart Home Helper here, and today I'm gonna be doing a review over the Quick Set Smart App. Now, you'll see immediately when you pull it up, all your locks will appear on here. Um, it'll show you the status, how much battery life it has, if it's been locked or unlocked. Um, this is a Bluetooth lock I have, so whenever I get in signal of that lock, then I'm gonna be able to see the status of the lock. And just by clicking the lock, that right there will lock the lock for me. And there in real time, you can hear it on my end, I just locked my door, um, it'll show you the status of the lock. If you were to add any more locks or had, have additional ones, you would just click this plus sign right here on the top once you click that, it's gonna walk you through how to set up the lock. So it's gonna ask you what type of lock you have, and then it'll walk you through uh, the syncing process of that lock. Really easy, Quick Set Aurora is the one I have. Maybe took me five, 10 minutes uh, to get it synced up. Check out some of the other videos. Um, I'll show you how to do it in there as well. Now, here on the bottom, you'll have the settings. Um, I'll run through these for you real quick. This top one, you can name the lock, um, so you can change the names. You have a front door, a back door, you can do that there. There's an auto lock feature. The auto lock feature is whenever you close the door, uh, in 30 seconds it'll auto lock. Um, so if you forget to lock your door, great feature to turn on. Next up is gonna be the sounds and the LED status. Um, sounds just means you can hear the lock, and then the LED status is gonna be a light, um, it'll show you who it's paired with. This identify lock will send a sound or signal to the lock so you hear a beep to identify which lock you're controlling. So if you have a lot of locks, um, it's good for that. And then on the bottom, you'll have the ability to delete the lock as well. All right, we have the history down here so you can see the history of the lock. Um, so who's opened it, who's closed, what codes have been used. And then we'll go over here to the people and this is where you're gonna be able to create codes. Um, so I have two codes on there now, but if you wanted to add another one, you would click the plus button here. You would type in the name, so we'll just say Kyle. And then you'll type in the code, I'll type in 1515, and then it'll give you the ability to schedule it. You'll see there's plenty of different things that you can do. We'll stick with the anytime here, and then we'll go ahead and click the submit button takes maybe 10, 15 minutes uh, to get that code synced up. Once it is, it's good to go. Um, we'll go back. We'll also show you here on the top left. Um, it'll show what it works with. So it works with both Google and Alexa um, on there. And then you'll see also we have a help slash FAQ and then the settings on here as well. Um, so that's it right there for the Quick Set app. My quick review, super easy app to use. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. More than happy to help you out. Thanks, guys.